another episode of Jack Foreman, Pet Psychic. And now, please welcome Pet Psychic, Jack Foreman. Oh, thank you, Chaucer the Monkey, and thank you, everyone, for that nice golf clap. It's me, Jack Foreman, your Pet Psychic. Why am I sitting here in this room lit only by candles? Why am I playing this grand piano? Why am I taking such long pauses and deep breaths in between each thing that I say? It's because I want to create a soothing, calming atmosphere to help you understand the super weird stuff that your pets do. You know, pets don't have big human sized brains. Their brains much smaller, much weirder. And what's going on in those brains? Well, that's what we're about to find out. understand why your pet does the weird things that they do so let's meet another pet joining us all the way from texas golf clap if you will for aaron it's aaron the pet aaron or maybe it's aaron the pet aaron are you there yes Hi. Hi. Hello. welcome to the pet psychic show and i introduced you as the pet parent but i realized actually aaron you might be the pet which is it are you the Great, yeah. For me. Yeah, oh, yeah, please do. Wait, are, are you in the house and is Leela right there with you too? Well, I just got in my garage, but I can go right now. Oh, yeah, well, that's perfect. Why don't you and I talk to each other while you're walking toward Leela and you can just let us know when you get there. Uh, while you're on the way to Leela, okay. Aaron, uh, tell us, Aaron, why are you calling about Leela? Does she do something strange that you can't quite understand? Yeah, some, something really strange, like, she really likes to lick my hair and try to eat it because, like, this is what she does. She smells it and then she starts rubbing. Soon she lays down and then she, like, um, bites my hair and tries to eat it. And she scratches it. Whoa! Yeah, after you're... I take a shower. Oh, Andrew, okay, so when, when you've just cleaned your hair, your cat, Leela, tries to eat and bite and lick your hair? That yes, is, and then oh, she rubs against it. Even when, like when I go to like swim, she does that. Interesting. So Every anytime time my hair's wet. anytime that your hair's wet, your cat Leela just goes for your hair and just starts just going after it, scratching it, biting it, eating it, licking it, rubbing up against it. Wow. Um, that's and does does Leela do that to anyone else in your family, Aaron, or just to you? Yes, usually my dad like. Like yeah, and look, she, I, I'm right by her now. Oh, you're oh you're there with her right now. Okay, great. Um, uh, yeah. so go ahead and keep your uh, ear close to the phone. But, uh, Aaron, if you could hold the phone okay. up toward Le Leela's cute little cat face, there. Um, can can Leela hear me right now, Aaron? Yeah. Okay, great. Hi, Leela. Hi, Leela. It's me, Jack, uh, the pet psychic from Life. Oh, you've heard of me. Oh. Oh, my reputation precedes me. Great. Aaron, I've made a psychic bond with Leela. And by the way, she's very cute. Uh, do you mind if I switch over to Catanese, the language of cats, and speak to her in that uh, psychically? Aaron, is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, Catanese. Uh, uh, that, that's the language that cats speak uh, uh, all over the world. Uh, let me give it a try. Meow. 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 Oh, 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 Aaron, it sounds like, is that you or is that Leela? I can't tell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's well, like a real... she just meowed for real stuff now. I heard that. That's a real cat symphony. I like that you helped out there, Aaron. Thank you. Yeah. Right, let's try that again. <coughs> oh, great. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. <coughs> okay, great. Oh, uh, Aaron, you've got a beautiful cat there. I, I had a great conversation with Leela. Um, and I got a couple questions for you now, just to understand a little better. Uh, here's my first question, Aaron. Do you get your hair professionally cut 
like at a hair salon or a uh, like a stylist or do you get your hair cut at home no she doesn't get cut that much because she's a domestic short hair cat Oh, her her hair? No, but I'm talking about your hair, Erin. When you get your hair Mine? cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I have a lot of hair, and I need to cut it, like, two weeks. Every oh, two I weeks. See. Oh, wow. And do you cut it at home? Like, does someone cut your hair for you at home, or do you go to, a like, a hairstylist, a hair salon to cut your hair? Yes, I, I go to Great Clips. To cut my hair. Oh, Great Clips. Very nice. Nice product placement here. Okay, gotcha. And uh, just to be clear, has Leela ever gone with you to Great Clips, Erin? No, she usually doesn't go, like, outside that much, except the other day I left the door open and she went outside and she looked at the trees. Oh, oh interesting. I see. So she's, uh, she's sort of, um, uh, a vagabond cat. She's she's wanted to get out there and experience the world like a young uh, Paul Simon, sort of. <laughs> okay, well, Aaron, I think I've got a solution here, both an answer to why Leela has been licking and doing all kinds of things to wet hair around your house, and a next step. Uh, would you like to hear why she's doing this? Yeah. Yes, okay. Please. Yeah. Well, it turns out Leela is just fascinated by hair, and not just the wet hair that's hanging from your head. She's actually interested when she grows up and is like a fully grown adult cat, you know, uh, having graduated from college. She actually wants to sidestep college and go to cat beauty school so that she can be a hairstylist as her job. Like when she grows up and moves out of the house, she wants to be a hairstylist. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, well, she, will my cat make a lot of money? Oh, that's, it. whoa, oh, boy, I mean, that's maybe more of a question for your hairstylist at Great Clips. In fact, what, next time you're getting your hair cut, you can just ask that question. You can say, so how lucrative is this field? Would my cat make very much money doing this? I mean, from a cat's perspective, all you got to pay for is cans of tuna or, you know, a fancy piece, and that's pretty inexpensive. So I think she would probably do pretty well, especially if she had, like, an Instagram presence. Um... Here's my suggestion, though. Uh, Leela's fascinated by hair. She wants to uh, learn about the craft and learn about how to take care of hair. Here's my suggestion, Aaron. Do you have a cat carrier? Yes, we do. Okay, here's what I would recommend. The next time that you go to Great Clips, and you said it's in a couple of weeks, I would suggest putting Leela into her cat carrier and taking her along with you to get your hair cut. And while you're waiting there in the little uh, waiting room right outside of the, the hair cutting salon uh, portion of the building, you could just have Leela there and position her strategically so that she can watch all the stylists cutting hair so that she gets some real, you know, pause on experience. She knows what it's like there in the room where it happens. Uh, what do you think about that, Erin? She's gonna think it's the vet and she's gonna get really scared and run away, probably. Oh, yeah. Okay, so uh, probably what you'll need to do is make sure that your hair is nice and wet beforehand. And uh, as you're carrying her uh, in her carrier, just make sure that some of your hair is, like, dribbling in through the grates on the front of her cat carrier so she's got something to play with. And then she'll be so fascinated by the hair, she'll forget all about where she is until she sees the haircuts. And you know what? I think she's just going to see her future there in all those haircuts. And I think it's going to really inspire her to go to beauty school. Erin! What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a really great idea. I think it's a really good idea, too. And after it happens, Aaron, call back and let us know how Leela enjoyed her field trip to Great Clips. Well, audience, I think we can make a little more noise now. Let's hear it for Aaron and Leela. They're on the way to Cat Beauty School.